Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Emily Smith. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. You're awesome. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, it only takes a dollar. So check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on in the house. Maddie and Cassandra were having a game chat. Weird. So Cassandra was like, uh, if we're in a situation where it's like the two of us going for that HOH, feel free to throw it to me because I want to put up LaVita and get rid of her. So her plan is to nominate LaVita and a pawn, the pawn being Tim. Again, I think this is so dumb. Why nominate your closest ally if you don't have to? I just, I think it's stupid. Um, but anyway, Maddie's like, yeah, that's awesome. I would want to put up LaVita too, but it would have to be as a replacement nominee. She doesn't want to put her up and give her that chance to win the power of veto and then, you know, possibly stick around and be pissed at her. Um, especially since Maddie is supposed to be, like, working with LaVita. What happened to that? So, Maddie's plan would be to put up Jared and Raul, tell them, like, look, I need you guys to fight and win that veto because I have a plan in place here to get somebody else out. Alright, so, Kelsey and Jared were talking about the votes with Joel, and they're all like, whoa, it could be a split, a split vote this week, could be a tie. So, Joel's like, well, I'm open to hearing your arguments here. Like, I'm willing to go either way on a tie, so... What do you got? Uh, hint, hint, Kelsey. That means he wants you to campaign to him. Tell him why you should stay. So Kelsey's like, well, I'd like to stay, but I'd be at peace with going home. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. She's like, oh yeah, I know that Raul wants to be here to like further his career, and I wouldn't want to take that away from him. So, she's also like, Joel, I think, um, whether it's me or Raul going, it's probably going to be the same for your game either way, so whatever, no biggie. I get that you don't want to campaign against your friend, but you're being really unreasonable. <laughs> like, give them something to work with here, come on! Okay, this is what happens when you recruit people who don't care. So then Jared and Kelsey were alone in the HOH room for a little while, and they're looking around at the cameras, and, and they're like, whoa, they're not even looking at us. So they think that Big Brother is, like, pointing all the cameras away from them so that they can have alone time. Pfft. Are you kidding me? This is Big Brother. They have cameras in the walls anyway. They don't... Come on now. You think they care how you feel? So... <laughs> They thought that they were alone, so they picked up Joel's stuffed dog and, like, made out behind it for a little bit. And then they take the dog down and realize, whoa, all the cameras are still on us. No shit. Okay, so, anyway, let's get back to the game. Nick is getting really pissed at Phil for not including him in game talks. I would be pissed too because Phil is always like, all the game talks gotta go through me. You just go and like get to know people, blah blah blah. So there was a particular situation up in the HOH room. Nick was just like hanging out on the couch and Phil and Ramsey were talking just a few feet away in the other room um, and they were like, Nick, like, uh, we're not trying to keep you out of this conversation but we can't let you join in because if somebody walks in it's gonna look really bad if the three of us are talking. Really? Um, so they were talking about the game, and then Nick is just like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Why are you not including me in these conversations? And he's like, it's not just this instance. It's, you know, it's been happening a lot, and it's not cool. So Nick is like, I get it. Like, I get that you can't tell me everything right after it happens, whatever, but it pisses him off. So then they're arguing about who knows more information, and Nick is like, I talk to people too, blah, 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 and Phil is like, well, people open up to me more. These brothers are, like, ridiculous with each other, but Nick is like, okay, well, I need you to check in with me every once in a while, let me know what's going on, if you're, like, insisting that I don't talk game with people. So Phil's just like, whatever, man, blah, you suck. So they don't really resolve it completely, but I feel like they never really resolve things, these two. So anyway, Joel and Levita were chatting up in the HOH room, and again, they're talking about how it could be a tie vote this week. 
So Joel is like, yeah, I don't think either one of them would really be grateful if I saved them. So he can't base his decision on that. So he doesn't end up telling Levita which way he would go. We've heard him say in other conversations that he would save Kelsey. I don't think that's what Levita wants to hear. So maybe he was wise in not telling her that. Um, so then... Levita brings up her ongoing concerns about Mitch. She's brought this up before. She thinks that he's in really deep with the other side, meaning like Jared and Raul and Kelsey while she's still around. Um, so then she's like, do you think we should like approach Mitch and tell him it's okay if you don't want to be in an alliance? It's cool. Why would you say that to someone? No, just freaking move on. You don't have to bring that up. So Joel's like, well, I feel really good about our thing with Dallas. Like, let's focus on that. You, me, and Dallas. So then, speaking of Dallas, he was talking to Ramsey, and they were discussing how they want to have this, like, fake fight in the morning before the live show. Ugh. Why always the fake fights? Why can't you just, like, gradually be seen together less. I mean, really. But they want people to think that they're not working together. I did not see them have this fake fight this morning. I don't think they actually went through with it unless it happened after Big Brother turned off the feeds for the show. Who knows? Um, maybe they were just like, wow, this is really dumb and we shouldn't do it. That's what I would go with. But Big Brother must have been feeling really generous last night because they ended up lifting the have-not restrictions a day early. So all the have-nots were like, woo, we get food. And of course, now they get to sleep in a real bed. So people were trying to figure out what the sleeping arrangements were going to be. And Nikki was like, I'm not sharing a bed with Levita anymore. <laughs> we know that she's had issues with her. If you've been watching the spoilers this week, you know why. So Levita was trying to find a new place to sleep. And she asked Nick if she can sleep in his bed with him. And Maddie found out about this, and she was losing her mind. She started ranting to Nick, uh, talking all this crap about Levita. Uh, she says Levita's always following her around. She sucks, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say all the things that Maddie said because she's gross. Um, but Maddie is also pissed about this because Levita told her to stop hanging out with Nick so much. And then Levita goes and asks if she can share a bed with him. So she's not happy about it. But like, ugh, Maddie is just, she's awful. She really is. So anyway, moving on back to the game. Cassandra is trying to encourage Kelsey to campaign. She's like, I need you in this house. All the other girls here are bitches. And the reason they want you out is because you're so pretty and you're so nice and they're so jealous. <gasps> Why do these two think they're the nicest in the house? I don't understand that. I've heard them talk so much crap about everyone and it makes no sense to me. But Kelsey was like, oh, I feel really, it's like hopeless right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the vote. So she's pretty much thrown in the towel. I mean, I feel like she threw it in a while ago. But anyway, um, Cassandra tells her, no, we might still be able to get Nikki's vote. Maybe we can get the brothers back. So she's telling Kelsey, go put in some time with Nikki. She's going to vote for whoever she likes more on a personal level. So go hang out with her, have girl time, whatever. We'll try to flip her. So then uh, the other part of it, they're still going to need the brother's vote as well. So Kelsey was chatting with Phil and she's just like, I feel like I'm going home. And it's all because of Maddie and her crew. So Phil's like, I don't know that it's just because of Maddie. Um, he's explaining that it makes sense for a lot of them to get rid of her, break up the showmance, whatever. Um, and this is really Kelsey's opportunity to campaign for herself to Phil. But she really sucks at campaigning. She's not putting in the work. So it doesn't happen. A little while later, Mitch straight up asks Phil about his vote. He's like, are you Nick flipping? Like, where's your vote at right now? And Phil's like, what? No. I mean, I think it was a reasonable question to ask, considering how many times Phil has flipped this week. But he's like, no, I'm voting out Kelsey. We're all good. All right. So this morning, Jared made a last minute pitch to Joel while they were making breakfast. And he's like, yeah, um, I think it's really admirable <laughs> that Kelsey didn't campaign against Raul this week because they're such good friends. And Joel's like, yeah, that's great. Blah, 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 blah. So then Jared's like, I think it would be better for your game to keep Kelsey. Would it though? Um, I don't even think it's going to be a tie at this point because I 
feel like it's going to be at least like a seven to three vote for Kelsey to go home because she's got the the brothers voting her out now too, and like it's not looking good for her. Um, so Kelsey knows that she's going home, and she wants to leave with a bang. And, and that means that she wants to piss off Maddie when she leaves. There's so much drama between Kelsey and Maddie. So, a while ago, Maddie was, like, obsessed with that big rubber duck that Big Brother gave them. And Raul, like, stole it from her and hid it. So, Kelsey wants to have this duck, like, waiting in her bag. And as she's about to walk out the door, she wants to pull it out of her bag and just be like, Bye! And then walk out with the rubber duck. Okay, so <laughs> tonight uh, is also the fake double eviction. We still don't know exactly what that means. Um, I'm assuming that means that the first person that's evicted is actually going home, and then the second one is fake. I don't know if they're going to tell them right after, like, hey, guess what? We're just kidding. Or if that person's going to be hanging out in the high roller room for a while. I don't know. We'll find out, but it should be interesting and exciting. So leave your predictions in the comments below, and until tomorrow, much love.